Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the darkest dungeon. Everyone has trinkets. Pen and focus ring on the leper. The occultist has the pistol for the accuracy. The cauldron. Jester has the cup and the map. The vestal has the scroll and the diary. And we're gonna do the courtyard mission. We're gonna at least try to do some of the courtyard mission. Yo, vial of sand. Oh, I remember that trinket. I used to have that on my occultist in the last playthrough because it's so good for this specific type of occultist that is going to be hands from abyssing pretty much every enemy we come across. Does it also do move skill? Oh my, it's such a good trinket. <laughs> I love it. But this is the occultist that we're going to utilize. Uh, we know what we're doing. We've done this before. I don't remember anything about this mission except that if we get the direction wrong, it's gonna have a lot, and I mean a lot, of backtracking. So let's try to get the direction correctly from the beginning, shall we? Uh, but let's also take a quick look at maybe some, maybe some quirks? Like, Twilight Dreamer ignores stealth. Why don't we lock that one in? We have a little bit of extra money, Let's lock that in so that both of our um, arbalists basically have that ability, and let's see what else we can do. If there's anything that I think is worth locking in, we'll lock in before we go out on this mission. We'll not pray or flagellate, we'll not pray or flagellate. It must be a common theme amongst plague doctors. Steady has already been locked in. Um, enlightened, Clums clumsy needs to be removed. Let's remove that. And then, I don't know, you could always lock in Virtue Chance, but that doesn't seem that appropriate. Let's just get rid of Clumsy, because Clumsy is pretty bad. All right, let's do that, and then go to the courtyard. So the Leper is going to be the damage dealer. The Occultist is going to pull things and stun them. The Jester is going to bleed, battle ballad, and tune. And the Vestal is also going to stun, damage, and heal. That seems appropriate. Sweet. Let's do it. Consume one invitation. I have four of them. We get them like every mission now. I don't remember all what we need for the mission, but full food is probably good. A bunch of torches for the uh, accuracy buff in combat. This is gonna be a super long mission, so really I think you just bring all of the blood that you think you're ever gonna need. Um. And then I really don't think you need anything else. Like, we're gonna be filled up with inventory after the first two combats, and we have to have all this blood if we wanna stay out on the mission for as long as possible. We can always come back to the Hamlet, and then go back to the Crimson Court mission with the progress being saved. But I think that's okay. No, 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 you just removed it. I just removed it? I removed a quirk? Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. Gotta go to Connie. This is gonna be a little bit more expensive. You gotta click. No, it's it locks it in, right? Oh, it's already is it already locked in? It's already locked. In. Is it locked in or is it special? Maybe you can't lock it in. How does how does this work? Because that's not the lock in. A, a visual. The lock-in visual is this, but it doesn't give me the option to lock it in. It's it's locked in. Okay. That's weird. It, it, it's strange that it has a unique symbol that isn't the lock-in symbol, but okay. I thought I would have to lock it in manually. I guess not. So you know what? Let's find something else to get rid of. Uh, You know what? Give me some evasion. I don't know, that probably doesn't seem that good, but I gotta lock him in at some point. Okay, let's go out on the mission. Food. Some torches. I really do think you just bring all of the blood. Um, shovels, we're gonna need shovels, so I'm gonna bring a couple of stacks of those. Uh, and then we have medicinal herbs. I don't think we're gonna need antivenom or bandages. I don't think we're gonna need holy water. I don't think we're gonna need laudanum. I don't think we're gonna need shard dust or agus scales. If we fight a boss, maybe we'll want these, but if we fight a boss, we'll probably just leave, come back into the fight, and then, then just try it again. 
with a party that's appropriate for fighting a boss, which these guys are not really. Um, so I think this is okay. We have a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll bring like one torch for the first bit of combat. And it's expensive mission, but we gotta do it. Let's embark. Bloodlust, nothing. The egg, which will be removed when you when you accrue the crimson curse, which will happen. Let's be honest. Let's embark. The feasting and revelry would last for weeks at a time. Great stone tables were set with such an abundance of rare delicacies that we would stuff ourselves until the exotic became mundane. When the lavish spread began to spoil, a ravenous gourmand gleefully proposed that we sample from the fetid pile of composting refuse. The notion was dismissed as decidedly unhealthy. But days later, he was found cackling madly atop a heap of rancid comestibles, licking his fingers in delight. You know what? I think I do remember this guy. This is the one with the bodies, right? The corpulent braggart could never eat his bill. Let him dine on sharpened steel tonight. Ho, ho, ho. Right. Let's begin. Man, our inventory is just filled. How much accuracy is that? Plus three? It's not really that much, honestly. Uh, thronging hive. You burn it for, is it stress relief? I think. Glittering no, it's just gold, consumables, okay. And Look, I don't remember. It's been a while since I did the last Crimson Court mission. I gotta, I gotta figure this stuff out pretty much from scratch. I remember the party composition, but that's about it. And, uh, you know, hope, luckily we have this tasting cup for the Jester. He can he can recover stress extremely quickly. Uh, we might want to let people get up to 100 stress to see if they become... Uh, virtued? And if they're going for the Jester, maybe I'll just let him get stressed out. We'll keep everyone else stressed down for the time being. Stun skill chance. So let's start smacking. You resisted, huh? Well, you missed. <laughs> Plus ten accuracy focus ring. You know, I guess that's that's gonna happen. That's bound to happen. So maybe we'll um, maybe we'll reduce some of their their dodge chance. Maybe we'll have the Jester toss out a Battle Ballad. We should have honestly had him do that from turn one, just to make sure that we don't miss. So there's the Crimson Curse, which is a, a positive, because we knew that was gonna happen, and also now he no longer has the Og, the egg. It has been removed. All right, 95%. That's a massive difference. Thank you for the crit. His crits are gonna be insane with the uh, the bonus, especially under the effect of a battle ballad. So a six heal, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you just do it. We don't want the, uh, the leper to ever miss, ideally. So we're gonna try to get the jester afflicted, I think. Nice dodge. Even with the uh, high accuracy, that happened. We're gonna try to get the Jester afflicted, I think, initially. Because he's already at 52. So please yell at him about the blood <laughs> some more. <laughs> Occultist. Oh. I did not expect to get the Crimson Curse this early on both units, but I guess it is what it is. You know, we, we've done missions like this where it's taken quite a while before they got the Crimson Curse. So for them to get it that fast is uh, a bit surprising. Dum, dum, da, dum. Honestly, minus 25% bleed resist for the quest. I guess you were flagellating and you did it a little bit too hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump the deeds. Start stacking money. So blood light plus stress minus bleed resist anyways. We don't care about the plus stress. I want you to get stressed out. I gotta remember though that this is... A singular 
That's fine. That's actually really good. I gotta remember that this is champion level missions. These enemies are gonna be very tough. Infallible servitude. At least you did guard the right unit. Because you gotta go. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Guard? What? I, w I wonder if he's actually being guarded right now. <laughs> the guard is up! He's stunned! <laughs> I guess stun breaks guard. Stun doesn't mean that the guard is now gone, which is a little silly. But it's funny, because he's currently stunned. <laughs> but he's currently acting as a guard with 78% protection buff. Well, that means you're gonna get an attack. Mind your manners. Just the mark. If you would like to uh, give stress on the Jester, by all means, go right ahead. Unfortunately, he's reducing his own stress. We might want to bail on the idea of him uh, getting stressed out, I suppose. Cultus is such a good unit. So versatile. And those stuns are just outrageous. Well, we don't care about any of this. Look, we're going to be leaving a lot of loot behind. So now I, I don't... I don't remember this mission at all. I don't know where to go. So I'm just going to pick a direction, pretty much. I, I do not at all remember the direction to go in. The only thing I remember is that the last time I, I did this, maybe it was the next mission, not this one, but I did one of these missions and I just had to backtrack for like an hour. Just like combat after combat, backtracking, trying to find the right direction to go in. It happens. It certainly does happen. What is your virtue chance? I guess it doesn't show it, does it? But we'll see. Do you wait? Do you have all your abilities? Withstand revenge. Okay, good. I gotta make sure because you know you're you're gonna be the croc killer if we find a croc. We know how to handle the croc fight. We've done that many times. Okay. I think speed eleven, speed of five. The leper is going to be very slow. I still think that maybe we pull up one of the uh, one of the bloodsuckers, and I think you do bring up the esquire. I think he's the biggest problem in this fight because of his damage output. We can always toss out stuns for anyone who gets guarded. Eighty, 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 eighty-five. There's there. Their stun resists are pretty high. What's your stun chance? 150 plus 30. So your stun chance is 80, which means you only have you have a 95% chance of stunning the courtesan, 100% chance of stunning everyone else. So we'll start here. Pummeling. You missed, but that's fine. Oh, and then you're gonna do the shuffle. Oh man. Plus 30% damage, plus five speed, minus 12 accuracy. That's horrible. That's fine. But that's horrible. <laughs> um, might as well chop him up. Almost killed him. Yeah, there's the skewering repartee. Unnerved. Only hit the leper. Everyone else dodged it. But did manage to crit him. Blows, but we can we can still handle it. I think here we should stun. I don't care about your repost. It sucks anyways. Toss out a heal. Good. I see why the unit is a problem now, says Brendan Toad. <laughs> That's yeah, cause like imagine him critting everyone for 20. You don't want that to happen. That's that's a fine guard. I don't care. You're gonna be de dead in the next shot, anyways. Well struck. 
So that's why you you generally want to go for him first. He's a he's a problem. The courtesan messes things up. She can force guard and then like uh, uh, shuffle the party, their party, not your party. But like that's it. That's what she does. That guy from the front, he has like a point blank shot esque ability. He can. Uh, Thirst and heal, and from the back he does that skewing repartee, which is just brutal. Absolutely brutal. Brutality. So we're gonna start some stress relief on other units, except for him. He's we want him to get to 100 and hopefully become virtuous. There's another crit. Crit chance on him is just so good. <laughs> There's more stress, which is fine. Horror, which is also fine. Even the boldest gaze. And then we're just gonna stall you for two turns. I this can't. It's gonna be annoying if the jester does become afflicted, but he's so good at recovering stress, it's not gonna be that big of a problem. There we go, and everyone's fine. And no one's gonna die. You know what I realized? I'm only realizing it now. I really should have brought a stack of bandages. Not for a combat like this, but in reality for a croc fight. Because the croc is really annoying. We would like to have some bandages for that fight just to make sure that no one gets uh, bled to death. These nightmarish creatures Blood charm. That's a useful trinket, but I don't think we need it. I don't think we need any of this. I hate to say no to blood, but no one's craving right now. You know as soon as we step two, two inches, they're going to start craving the blood, but for now, this is okay. Okay, 85 out of 200 stress. Please become virtuous. I don't know what your your virtue would be that I would be interested in, but just do it anyways. I want to be able to like snuff out his stress, <laughs> like like you do with the torchlight. I want to say ooga booga, ooh, it's a ghost. Like, I want I want him to be stressed out immediately. Okay, who are we gonna stun? I guess we'll stun the manservant. That way he doesn't gain protection. Thirst. Please hit the Jester. Enraging Slight of the Thirst. I guess both of those are stress dealing, atta dealing attacks, but Infallible Servitude is the one that's really annoying. Now unfortunately, he did get pushed to the back when the Supplicants moved forward, so... Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. So he is gonna get an attack. Well, we'll start stunning him. Jester can keep up with his, uh, oh, yeah, I told ya. <laughs> the Jester can keep up with the, uh, oh my god, with the battle ballads, but I hate that the leper missed twice in a row. That's a little awkward. Infallible servitude. Well, at least you're guarding from back there, but you're probably gonna live for quite a while. They love targeting the Vestal, don't they? Well, we're not stunning anyone there. Guess we'll pull you forward. I could try to, like, cut through their dodge with, um... With the debuff skills, but... Oh my god. His chance to hit is not even that bad with the, the battle ballad bonuses. We're just getting unlucky on him. 97 stress. Good. Good, good. Oh, well, 92 stress now. This fight has lasted way longer than expected. I guess this guy does have 37 dodge. Well, that's a targeted heal now. Confusion, nerves, and panic. 
She's not resisting anything. <laughs> we, like, have done virtually, like, 88% chance to hit. Thank you! Thank you! That's all you have to do! Precision and power. His stress is going down even further. <laughs> okay, you're not quite dead, but we gotta do some heals. The whiners aren't even the big problem, it's the, the supplicants. Good dodge. He's got 35 dodge, which is pretty nice. You're never gonna dodge anything, but if the situation warrants, we can just withstand you. Okay. You're dead. How do you have blight damage? Hold on. Oh right, because you you attacked me and you stole the blight damage, which means that you're dead now. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that that's how that worked. When these guys thirst, they steal your uh, your status effects. Congratulations, you played yourself. A death by inches. God, he's just so good. Reduce stress on everyone. No. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Well, um, I think we just say no to the blood. I th I hope we'll have enough blood, but as we use it, hopefully we'll be able to restock it. And of, co of course, of course, you step two steps, and then they crave the blood. I think you should be able to to pre-give them blood. Like, why not? I know you're gonna want blood soon, have some blood. If I interact with the plant, will you get stressed out? This is a torch. I'll give you blood. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you blood in a minute. More scouting. I'm I'm very wary about this area. I have bad memories of this place for some reason. I just accidentally walked into it. Ambushed by Bowling. Blood! Blood! <laughs> just walked into it. That's okay. It's just a little bleed. I am like Okay, that's money. Perhaps this contains the blood. Plus nine stress. We got scouting out of a plant? I mean, I'll take scouting, but that was a little surprising. Okay, four more stress and he will turn. Good or evil, that's the question. Okay, large flesh eater and a courtesan. Well, we're definitely gonna do a battle ballad. If we can pull, we can focus on the courtesan, but we gotta make sure that the well, there's nothing really we can do about it. We just have to hope that the leper hits. That's unfortunate, but maybe we can stun with the Vestal. I am lost in the throes of ecstasy, crit for 21. Well, that's probably the move I would have made anyways. Heal for eight. Better. Sedated. We can pray. Considering that he's likely gonna get hit by the... Well, actually, no, he's gonna be stunned. So he won't get hit by the Tentacle Devourer. So we have a turn. 95%. Thank you. That's why I love the Leper in, in this location. Because if he hits, he crits. He hits, he crits. Seven. Let's give you a heal. And if we just keep Battle Ballad buffing him, he's not even gonna miss. Uh, protection dodge. Let's debuff your damage output. I'm not gonna worry about protecting the uh, the leper at all here. I think. Fair enough. Ding 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 ding. 
Vigor is restored. I haven't heard that one before. Maybe I've only heard it like once or twice or something. Oh my god. Crit for 54. And selfish. Well, let's start working down that stress. The crit sucks <laughs> for certain. But what are you what are you gonna do about that, you know? We 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 weakened him, minus 20% damage, still managed to nearly kill the leper with a single shot. You know? That's that's worth a stall in my book. But never hidden. Hey, you know what? Everyone has, you know, their own uh, uh, role here now. You're probably not going to stun him, so why don't you just debuff him further? This guy will be healed in, in frickin' no time. Tentacle Devour! You're not gonna crit for 54, because you need the mark to really do it. Anyways, he's almost down to zero stress. I suppose, you know, if, if ever anyone accumulates stress, stop critting him, I don't want him to die. If people start accumulating stress, we'll just try and, uh, we'll just try and let them go. Their cursed champion falls. Seize this and we'll see if they actually do become uh, afflicted or virtuous. End. I'm not gonna touch you. I don't want scouting. I have, I have the map. We have 50% scouting anyways. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. The blood. I must have the blood. Shh, don't talk about the blood when you're going next to that guy. He'll hear you and he'll ask for more blood. Good scouting. I have no idea where we're going, by the way. I hope this is like a good direction to be going in. I also hope I have enough blood in my inventory. We're get, we're actually going through it faster than I was hoping. Okay. You know, honestly, let's try it a little bit differently. I'm gonna mark you and lower your dodge chance. Enraging Slight. I'm glad that we dodged that because that's an annoying attack because it pulls him forward. It's like an 80% stun chance. I'm glad it worked. Resisted, resisted. Now, 95% chance to hit 15 to 29. Every hit is a crit. Bleed. Look, you're probably gonna bleed him. He's a freaking leper, okay? <laughs> His body is not in the greatest of positions. Um, let's start dodge 21 plus 20 accuracy for three rounds. Let's start the bleeding. The ground quakes. It needs to happen. You can start alternating stuns. Naffen Uh your stun is pretty much useless, so just toss out a heal. Hit for 13. Not all hits are always guaranteed to be crits, I suppose. And I'm like, I'm listening outside of my, uh, my room. You can really hear the wind. And it's like slightly raining out too. It's getting a little cold in here actually. It's nice though, considering that it was like 95 Fahrenheit, almost 100 Fahrenheit. It's feeling a lot better today. <laughs> Six bleed. That's a lot of bleed. You know what you have to do to stop bleeding? Crit. Yeah, perfect night for a courtyard stroll. That's a stun. I will taste you and nothing will stop me. I remember these missions. <laughs> How much it, it uh, makes me hate to have the Crimson Curse with all of the like call outs, passing, having, you know, actions that I can't control. I remember these. 
Hey, Mud. Welcome. How you doing today? Oh, he hit him and debuffed him. Beautiful. Now heal him. Okay. Kill something. Oh, now you crit him. Whatever. I'm still happy with that. Skewer. So that's the bleed. Highly annoying, but he, he should live. You're already dead. So let's start debuffing you. We'll do some stalling, do some healing. Two more of those and you'll have zero. Um, actually, I mean, you could use a... It's gonna say, you could use a big heal now just to make sure that you're not killed. This is gonna be a very big stall. <laughs> All must bleed, it is the way. Ironically, you didn't bleed him, you just gave him minus 60 dodge. Are you absurd? You are absurd. Are you insane should be the, the real question. Okay, almost down to zero. Hopefully the game uh, makes that an indication that I have, in fact, tried to kill this guy on this turn. You know what, let's, let's reduce his dodge chance, there you go. I'm taking a nap, let me know when it is safe. <laughs> what the heck? I'm taking a nap. Let me have a piece of two. It's not really selfish, it's more just stupidity. Anyways, now you're fine. Now you're no longer going crazy. And acting out against the, uh, the benefit of the party. All right. You will be killed on this turn. And everyone is doing just fine now. We, we stalled for a long time. I'm surprised that the game uh, had no complaints regarding that. But I can accept it. Okay. More scouting. You love to see it. Yeah, maybe we'll just keep everyone at uh, zero stress instead of trying to work out virtue. I, I always think about doing that on a mission like this, but then I never do because the first time usually fails, and you really have to have like a trinket that gives virtue chance for that to be very effective, because the, the the chance of a virtue is only like 20 odd percent or something. 30 odd percent, something like that. So you really do need to have a, uh, a trinket or two to make that more likely. I wish you could bring trinkets in with your provisions so you can just swap them in and out during the mission, depending on what you need. That'd be very nice. It'd be very cool. But maybe that would be a little bit too... Maybe maybe it would be too easy to game it. Like, you could have trinkets that you would take for a boss fight and then you would just swap out right before the boss fight. You can swap out skills. You can swap out camping skills. So surely you should be able to swap out trinkets with stuff that you can bring. I don't know. Maybe that's just going a little too far. A little too far of good. Yeah, go for the kill. All right, well, you tried. Watch. Or a really good trinket drop. I, I guess, I mean, you could have a really good trinket drop. Absolutely. But I think it would be interesting to be able to bring the trinkets in from the hamlet because then you could you could pick and choose what you wanted. But maybe that's a little bit too powerful. Too easy to game, too easy to cheese, or whatnot. All right, I figured you'd move first, let's be honest. All 
I don't think any amount of healing is gonna help these guys though because they're pretty much gonna be killed in one shot from, from the leper. You had to make me a liar. You had to make me look like a fool. <laughs> um. Speaking of crits, the occultist is also critting every shot. That's fine. You're gonna blight a little bit, but honestly, who cares? Success. Haste, so chalice, vestal, evil. that is garbage. Or, is it merely or really, we just have better blind. ones, we don't need that. Better speed on turn one. Why, like, what's, what's the point of a better speed on turn one? Doesn't really seem to make too much sense. So we do have scouting up for a distance. I, I wonder if there's actually gonna be anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe we'd be better off going in this direction and seeing what's over here. We might have to do some backtracking. Ah, uh, let's let's do this path now, so we we make sure that there's nothing here at all. I'd hate to have to backtrack if there's like a, a an alternative path that leads to a key, and we're gonna need the key. In fact, this might be the key, so I'm glad we we just came here right now. <laughs> Good lord, <laughs> these guys are. Uh, also, highly dangerous and highly annoying. This is a, this is gonna be a tough room. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. We're gonna use some more blood and try to kill you. 31% crit. We can kill him. You guarded the wrong unit. Actually, we can only kill him if we move before they do. Their speed is four, so that should be possible. Please? Thank you. Okay, good. Although this guy is now going to uh, skewering repartee unless we pull him. So nice having that uh, that occultist. Would be nicer if we could give him that uh, vial of sand, but unfortunately we don't have it. That's what we would get for doing this mission. No stress. <laughs> Things change quickly. All right, what are you gonna do from the front? I don't think you can do anything. All right, you slap me pretty hard. Who would have thought that your frail, insecty, womanly hands could actually slap that hard? <laughs> Maybe she, I guess she hit us with the bones. That's what it was. Um, Battle Ballad. Disposable account, have a good night. Thanks for being here. Let's kill you first. Glad it worked out. Enraging Slight. I don't know why he does that on the front line. He'd be better off doing it on the back line because it is a, a big pull. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so hopefully there is a key in this chest. You know what? Heal him to full. Hopefully there's a key in this chest, and hopefully we don't have to do any sort of other backtracking. You used revenge. <laughs> it's a good ability. 35% damage, 15 accuracy, 11 crit. You know what? Smack him. Unfortunately, that's not what I wanted you to do. Thanks, Bloodlust. Uh, two food we don't need. Yields a key, so we do need this. Uh, I guess we'll drop the medicinal herbs. And this is just looping back. Although, I, I suppose in theory there could be another path off of this path. So we're gonna go here. Make sure there's no other exits, then we'll start backtracking back. Actually, oh, ah, damn it. I forget where you have to use this key. Going forward, we might have to go back anyways. Ah, Lord, I don't, I don't know. And now I'm worried, I'm worried about the backtracking, the infinite backtracking, it's starting now. That's what I was worried about. I actually think this might be a croc fight. 
I have a, a vague recollection of this being a difficult fight, so let's make sure that we are prepared before we leave the hallway here. Withstand and revenge. Pull, stun. Bleed, ballad, tune. Heals, stun. I don't think there's anything else that we want to do. 